Hello everyone. This video is going to be a short review of a book I've recently read, which is called Consciousness Medicine. This is the book. Consciousness Medicine, Indigenous Wisdom, Entheogens, and Expanded States of Consciousness for Healing and Growth. And the author of the book is a woman originally from France. Her name is Francoise Bourzat. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but that's my attempt. And she wrote this with assistance from Christina Hunter. Now the author is someone who has a very long personal history in this field. Her own personal dramas, you could say, as far as searching for healing, for getting this type of healing assistance with expanded states of consciousness, and then training with being an apprentice to native healers, in particular working with a medicine woman in Mexico who used sacred mushroom ceremonies or rituals as a key part of the healing process. So this book goes into depth about how alternate states of consciousness, expanded states of consciousness are used in the healing arts. And it's not about just encouraging people to go out and use particular substances to assist their healing journeys or processes. It's more about the whole holistic concept of how we integrate ourself, of how we journey into those experiences, those parts of our consciousness, our subconscious and superconscious awareness, and then bring that into an integrated experience for our everyday life. So the book focuses on multiple stages of the healing process, including the preparation, the actual experience of going into expanded states of consciousness, and then the processing of those experiences and the integration of it, bringing that new wisdom or understanding into your everyday life, into your community, your relationships, and so on. Now, this book begins with an introduction that explains the author's own autobiographical experiences. It goes into some of the traumas and challenges that she experienced early in her life and how that led her along this healing path. And then, of course, once she experienced the benefits of these healing journeys, not just sacred plant medicine experiences, but other forms of natural and alternative healing, she wanted to share this with the public, with the world around her. And of course, that's why she's writing a book about it. She wants to share this knowledge and give other people some guidance as they explore their own healing path, their own personal journey of growth. So this is something that many people could benefit from, understanding how these expanded states of consciousness can help them connect with those deeper parts of themselves that are ready for healing. In this book, you'll find practical wisdom. You'll find a lot of deep spiritual insights. You'll find a description of different cultures and the rituals and methods that they might use to facilitate healing. And they don't necessarily involve plant medicines. Many of these practices don't involve any chemical substance other than perhaps how your own body shifts its own chemistry 
when you use different practices like meditation, dancing, drumming, and so on. So we don't have to use any particular substance to induce the healing process or journey. Those are just some of the more direct ways of bringing a person into those altered states. However, it's actually safer, in a sense, to use other types of practices where a person isn't being chemically pushed into that state, where they're more deliberately using some other meditative method to shift their physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual state. Since I've worked with a variety of practices myself that don't involve any chemical ingestion, I have some insight into how those practices tend to function and operate and how different people may respond in different ways when being exposed to these practices and guided through them. A key part of all of this is the guidance, the processing that is done with those experiences. If a person is not really ready and willing to process those experiences, there may be limited benefit to those practices. However, for a person who has a very powerful intention to foster their own healing, their own personal evolution, then those experiences can have much greater benefit, much greater potential for their evolution. So a lot of this has to do with your own personal intention, your own level of consciousness and awareness as you proceed into those practices, whatever type of ritual or practice you may be using. For those that are new to this field, you'll find a lot of valuable information here in this book. And even for those who have had a lot of experience with using expanded states of consciousness for healing processes, you may find some new insights, some new information, some additional things to consider or think about as you go further in your practice. So this is a book that has a lot of deep wisdom, a book which I would greatly recommend for anyone who is in this field of healing with expanded states of consciousness, or anyone who has any healing intention perhaps whatsoever. This may give you a deeper understanding of the process of healing of reconnecting with those other parts or aspects of oneself, of seeing things in a new light or from an expanded perspective, and of recovering or reintegrating toward that state of essential wholeness. Once again, this is the book Consciousness Medicine, and it's published by North Atlantic Books in this year of 2019. So you can find it at many different bookstores, particularly online. And I hope that this particular video I've done on this has provided some insight into how this book could be beneficial for you. For now, I would like to wish everyone a wonderful day. Namaste.